the Algerian construction industry posted positive growth during the last few years, with growth supported by large-scale investments through the last 10 years, under which the government allocated $278 billion to develop various projects in the transport, housing, energy and education sectors. Algeria is classified as an upper-middle-income country by the World Bank, as its gross national income per capita for 2019 was $4,010, a 0.75% increase from 2018. The gross domestic product of Algeria was $172 billion in 2020. With a population of about 43 million people, industry contributes 61% of the country's GDP, services 30% and agriculture 9%. With a high demand for infrastructure improvement, the construction industry is expected to expand over the next five years. According to reports, an estimated $215 billion will be invested by the country's government in construction projects with, with particular emphasis on transport, hospital, water infrastructure, among others. In this video, we will highlight the 10 most impressive projects currently ongoing or recently completed in the North African country. So without much delays, here are out 10 most impressive mega projects in Algeria. Number 10, Mastagnum Tramway Light Rail Project. Test run is currently underway for Algeria's Mastagnum Tramway Light Rail Project. The 14.5 km Mastagnum Tramway project consists of two lines with 24 stations, totaling 14 km of track. The north-south line T1 will connect Salamander Place in the north to the University of Carauba in the south, serving 19 stations. The east-west line T2 will connect the city's mainline station in the east, where it will interchange with T1, to Avenue Abain Ramdane bus station in the west, serving five stations. Work on the 14.5 km two-line network began in August 2013 and was initially carried out by a consortium of Alstom and Isilux course in Spain, under a $290 million contract awarded by the Algiers Metro company, EMA, which is managing the project. Construction was initially scheduled for completion by May 2015, but was delayed due to flooding, subsidence and Isilux course and severe financial difficulties. Work was subsequently restarted through a consortium of Alstom and the Cossider Group Algeria, with regular operation now expected to begin later this year. Number 9, Chifa to Berau Agia Expressway. The Chifa to Berau Agia Highway was officially inaugurated last December by the Algerian Prime Minister. With a total length of 53 kilometers, the expressway goes through the Atlas Mountains, which was the bottleneck part of the Algeria South North Expressway, for its extremely high construction difficulties. The main construction work included 10 kilometers tunnel, various bridges up to 16 kilometers and subgrade engineering work. The deadline for completion of the section between Chifa and Berau Agia was originally set to be opened in 2017, however due to complexity of the project, it was finally commissioned in December 2020. The cost of the project was initially $735 million, this was however revised upwards, with the final estimated around $950 million, although the official figure is yet to be disclosed by the Algerian officials. In the future, the expressway will also extend further southward to connect other countries in the Sahel region, such as Mali and Nigeria. According to the Prime Minister of Algeria, the planned North-South Highway, linking the North African nation to Nigeria over a distance of more than 4,500 kilometers, is vital for boosting the economies of Algeria and other African countries along the way. Number 8, Ain Tsila Gas Field Development. Petrofac has been awarded a contract worth around $1 billion with Groupment Isarine, the joint operating group set up by Sonatrich, Petroceltic, and Enel, for the Ain Tsila development project in Algeria. Located around 1,100 km southeast of Algiers, the Ain Tsila field will produce gas, LPG and condensate, for the local Algerian market and for export. Under the terms of the 42-month contract, the lump sum engineering, procurement, and construction project scope of work includes commissioning, startup and performance testing. 
The construction work which started in 2019 is expected to be completed in 2022. The eighth seal of field was discovered in 2009 by the AT-1 well and was the ninth biggest discovery in the world at that time. PetroCeltic drilled six delineation wells of the field to gather the data required for building the integrated reservoir model for the field and prepare the field development plan. The eighth seal of field is estimated to hold 2.1 trillion cubic feet of sales gas, 67 million barrels of condensate, and 108 million barrels of liquefied petroleum gas. Number 7, CIDA, Mascara Expressway. In order to enhance regional connectivity and reduce traffic congestion, the Ministry of Public Works is developing a 101 km long new dual-line expressway between CIDA and Mascara. It involves the construction of tunnels, interchanges, dividers, 25 hydraulic structures and 18 engineering structures. Additionally, the Ministry of Public Works is constructing a 220 km long expressway between Clef, Teens, and Tesemselt. These projects involve a total investment of $1.2 billion and are scheduled to be completed by the end of next year. Number 6, Oud Tlilit High Speed Rail Project. Construction work on the high speed rail project in Algeria include the construction of a new railway line at a length of about 135 kilometers, which connects Oud Tlilit near Oran to Wilaya of Tlemcen. This new after Moroccan Al Borak, which run at 320 km per hour. The construction work include three tunnels with a total length estimated at 1.5 km, three railway stations, 129 viaducts, 14 km in total, among others. The project cost is estimated to be $2 billion. According to SNTF, Algeria's rail network encompassed 4498 kilometers as of 2018. Of this, 3750 kilometers was operational, including 175 train stations. According to reports, the country plans to construct another 173 kilometers railway line between Lagawid and Guardia. This project is part of the government's plan to develop a 425 kilometers railway line from Lagawid to Hassi Messayed. Number 5, Gara Jibilid Iron Ore Project. A consortium composed of Metallurgical Corporation of China, China International Water and Electric Corporation and Hunan Heidei Solar Corporation has signed up to carry out a feasibility study on the exploitation of Gara Jibilid Iron Ore in western Algeria. The project could cost in excess of $2 billion, according to preliminary estimates. The Gara Jibilit mine is one of the largest iron ore reserves in Algeria and in the world, with estimated reserves of 1.7 billion tons of ore grading 30% iron metal. The project in Tindouf province will help Algeria in its bid to diversify from oil, following struggles in attracting foreign investors. Number 4, Golsi Pipeline. The Golsi Pipeline, also known as the Gasdato Algeria Sardegna Italia, is a proposed pipeline which would link gas from Algeria to Italy. The energy company Sonatrich is also involved in this project along with Edison, Enel, and Hera Group developing a gas pipeline that will run from Algeria to Italy via Sardinia. Stretching to a length of 837 kilometers, nearly 565 kilometers of the pipeline will be offshore, while 272 kilometers will be onshore. With Sonatrich holding the most significant stake in this pipeline project, it will have a capacity of 8 billion cubic meters each year. The project will enable Algeria's substantial gas reserves to be supplied to northern Italy and Europe from Algeria's Hasramel field. Number 3, Port of Alhamdania. To ease congestion and overseas trade, the government of Algeria plans the development of a deep water port in Alhamdania, 80 kilometers to the west of Algiers. The port is envisaged to be a regional hub for North Africa and the Mediterranean, competing with Morocco's Tangier Med port. It will have a capacity of 25 million tons per year and 23 terminals capable of handling up to 6.5 million 20-foot containers. A Memorandum of Understanding for the project, an initiative of former President Abdelaziz Bouteflika, was signed in January 2016. The agreement committed the China State Construction Engineering Company China Harbor Engineering Company and the Algerian Port Authority to the project. In exchange for Chinese financing, 
the agreement handed ports operations to the Chinese for the first 25 years. In 2019, Algerian media reported the suspension of the then under development deep water port of El Hamdania, although the country's government is eager to restart construction due to its strategic importance. The port of El Hamdania, in Churchill, will be the country's largest and first deep water port and the second deep water port in Africa when completed. Number 2, Tafik 1 Solar Park Project. The Algerian government has planned to launch a mega solar project called Tafik 1 in the coming years. Confirmed in 2020, it will allow the construction of several photovoltaic solar power plants with a combined capacity of 4,000 megawatts. Completion is expected somewhere around 2024 and will cost up to $3.6 billion. The setup will bring 56,000 jobs during the construction phase and 2,000 jobs during the operation phase. With this project in mind, Algeria is planning to produce 22 gigawatts of green energy at the start of the next decade, with 13.6 gigawatts reserved for photovoltaic solar energy. The switch to green energy is deemed essential, since oil and gas have become the country's economy's backbone. Number 1. Tebesa Phosphate Plant Project. Algeria struck a $6 billion phosphate joint venture deal with China to build a phosphate plant in the country. The Algerian-Chinese partnership will see the development of a phosphate plant in Tebesa in eastern Algeria. The plant will become active by the end of 2022 and is expected to create over 3,000 jobs. The project plans to expand the Bled El Hadba phosphate mine output in the eastern region of Tebesa from 1 million tons annually to 10 million tons. Algeria, which is the third largest phosphate reserves globally, is looking to increase its phosphate production from 2 million tons per year to 30 million tons per year by 2030, which would make it one of the world's top phosphate and fertilizer exporter. So there you have it. Those are our 10 most impressive mega projects in Algeria.